right, this next video is going to look at some skills that we've talked about in class the first week. So this first one is identifying categorical and quantitative variables. So remember, a categorical variable places people in groups, so like eye color, favorite food, et cetera. A quantitative variable is something that has units and can be measured. So we're going to determine if these following ones are categorical or quantitative. So I have days of the week. That would be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, et cetera. That'll be categorical. Distance from school. It's probably measured in feet or miles or something of that sort, which would be quantitative. Um, do you agree or disagree about something? That'll be categorical. And then your hair color. So blonde, brunette, um, gray, et cetera. That'll be categorical as well. All right, so this next question, also something that we've covered this first week. So we're looking for the sample size, and the sample size is the number of individuals in the sample. So this is something, again, that you're going to use in all of the chapters. You're going to need to be able to, to look at that and say, ah, the sample size is this number. So a survey will be given to 20 students randomly selected from the freshman class at Madison High School. Um, that's the only information we have. So we're going to assume that all 20 of those students did, in fact, fill this survey out, since we don't know anything otherwise. And so that means my sample size, we represent that with a lowercase letter n. My sample size n is going to be equal to 20. And then one more from this first week of material. This is on a sample and population. So we're still going to be working with this idea from Denison High School. So a survey is given to 20 students randomly selected from the freshman class at Denison High School. All 20 students completed the survey and submitted it. Identify the sample and population. So the sample, it does say all 20 students answered it. So I would say 20 freshmen uh, from GHS. And you'll have, you'll notice that it says choose here. You'll have drop down choices to make here. So you'll want to match one of these drop down choices to this idea. And then our population here. So we only took students out of Gunnison High School. So it's going to have to do something with Gunnison High School. And then we were selecting from the freshman class. So our population here might be all freshmen at Gunnison High School. All right. 